Thank you for tuning in to Race Cruise. Here we have a 2016 P case. As a matter of fact, it is a QW. Interesting, Q is the last code of the year. So when I do the next case, it'll be Q. And then Mattel will start over with A again. Uh, this just happens to be, these are just random codes that Mattel uses. They know what's in this case by these two codes, actually. They keep track of the, it's an inventory thing. And for you new guys, this means it is an international assortment. So we will not see, like, um, we will not see 2016 new model on it or whatever it says. New for 2016, I think it says. But, and we also will not have, mm, it'll have multiple languages on the card. And to be honest, I did not uh, do any research to see what the uh, basic treasure hunt was or the super. I'm just looking and hoping that the uh, Ford GT carries over into this mix as well. As a matter of fact, this this is the the super. If that I know the super now, uh, this might be the super. It might be just the regular basic, or is it the superized version of the basic? Let's go ahead and check it out. The nitro door slammer is the super for the P case assortment. And if this has rubber tires and special paint, we got a super. If it's regular, yeah, it's just a regular car. There you go. Regular wheels, regular paint. No circle flame logo behind the card. That's just a regular. If you find this model with rubber tires and special paint, then you have the super treasure hunt for the uh, basics for the P case. Here's a couple models. You have the uh, Chevy Silverado. That's going to be the C. Actually, this is the second one. I think it was green before. So now you can get C with two different color Chevy Silverados. I don't know how many cars of the Art Car series I don't know how many of them are going to get uh, recolors or not. Repo duty. Oh, we got a little uh, cruncher there. Three, one, two, three, 65 Chevy Impala. I might see some of these over in my uh, neighborhood, over in the hood of uh, LA. Ta graphics all, all over this guy. That's the art car series again. There's your R. Mm, was this one white? As a matter of fact, now that I think about it, that car might have been white before. You can let me know in the uh, in the comments, okay? 75, 73 BMW 3.0 CSL race car. And a lot of times when they do recolors, it's the same recolor, but somebody posted uh poor things. Look at those things. Somebody posted a picture on in the race screws community. And, you know, the other side of this model, his car, it wasn't the same. There was a 16 back here on the fender. And you can see a 16. Well, it's a little hard. Yeah, see that 16, right? Okay. So here you have the 16 in the middle on this side. And then on the other side, got one down here too. He thought he had a tempo error. I think he thought he had a tempo error, uh, error a double print. But no, all of them are like that. It's got this one and this one. Kind of cool. Have a variation in that regard. You have plastic headlights, part of the plastic windows that go all the way through, and uh, plastic taillights, one whole piece. We'll set that to the side so I can put it back in. Oh, BMW 2002. Pretty nice, uh, pretty nice graphics, actually. Kind of style. Give it a little color. But makes it look nice. Eye-catching. Here you have the 10 Camaro SS, part of the HW Rescue Series. Two samples. Oh, another one. Pretty cool. I like how they just put a little bit of color, give it a little bit of break up, break up the monotony of the base white paint. We have the 73 Pontiac Firebird Corvette C7R. Matter of fact, uh, what was I going to say about this one? Oh, so this is a HW Race Team. There's some upcoming models that really have a lot of color on them. Uh, at first, I was thinking, mm, it's not it's not the race team we used to know. But, you know, I guess they mix up the different types of ways that they do the race team series. Porsche Carrera GT. Uh-oh, what happened? Somebody parked under a tree. We got a little, we got some bird stuff on the back there. What is that? That might be like, uh, I don't know what that is. I really don't know. But anyways, got some taillights on that model. That thing on the side. Racing stripe down the hood, and you got uh, headlights. Headlights need to enunciate. 69 Dodge Charger 500. 
to get some uh, racing stripes as well. I don't know if they call them racing stripes. That's what I call them. No license plate. But you got your little uh, turn signal. Side marker. Ford Shelby GTE 350R. I like this red better than the blue. Blue is okay. Can't have everything in red, you know. Gotta have a variety of colors. Looky, he's looking at you. He's got big bug eyes. There you have Skyfire. And he had a name before. I forgot, I'm not gonna say the wrong name again, but he had a different name before. Got two samples of the 17 Acura NSX. This is another model that was in blue. Now it's in red. Got tail light decorations. Looking good. A recolor of Terrain Storm. Looks good. Blue with contrasting bright orange. Look, he's got a little uh, ear sticking up like it's a dog. Doesn't he look like a dog? I always look at this and think, mm, I think they did that on purpose. Make him look like a little doggy with maybe flappy ears. Or maybe he's got ears on top. I don't know. Just it has a dog appearance to me. Scorpedo. Two samples in silver. And here you have another 17 accurate NSX. Uh, and a lot of times I'll have, if there's three in the case, they will be all in a row. But the reason why they had uh, two... And then one is because terrain storm. I don't know if he needed this big a blister, but when they have a big blister, they need to put that one in the middle. See how he, the hollinator is a bigger blister? They got to put the bigger blister right there. So the third accurate NSX got bumped to the next row. No big deal. Just something I noticed. Because you know what? When I do the unboxing, I try to get them back in there. I learn. You have to. You have to make sure you get like get the big cars in the middle. Otherwise, if you wait till the end and then you have a bunch of big blisters, you can't get them in. You gotta sprinkle them in there. Dollinator in red. Matter of fact, when this came out, it came out, I think this was a 2015 new model. Came out right at the end of the year. Got one color green and that was all it got. So it's nice to have a recolor of this model. Here you have two samples of the McLaren P1 in yellow. Headlight tempos. And that's not a tempo. I think that's a uh, part of the base or something. Let's see, it's a part of the base. It looks like a different color plastic. I haven't taken one apart to find out. But you do have some uh, taillight decorations for this licensed model. Got a few Santa, uh, Santa Claus, a few fantasy models. Shark bike, it's a recolor. Mm, what do you think? You like the blue one? Or do you think the you like the orange one? Does the blue one have these decorations right here? I don't remember it having that. Mm, I don't have one handy. I put it away. Ice shredder. Mm, I had enough. One color was enough for me, but Night Dragon. Doesn't fit in the boosters. Too skinny. But you know, they like to have different kinds of models. So this way they have an assortment or a variety of models. Hey, is this red, white, and blue? Hey, it sure is. Red, white, and blue. I think actually what this was in the last case this one. You have the Mad Props. Fun model to collect. Nah, yeah, it's not a track car, but it is it is a model that I like to collect a lot of the colors. Pedal driver's back. I think I like it chrome. I like when I think they chrome the steering wheel before. For some reason it looks funny with that uh, tan steering wheel. And no, it's not oh. oh. They're saying it's a write-on. I wonder if they changed, they had to change it because it was too small before. Double Demon. I don't have anything right here to check. Oh, uh, wow. It, it, it was not a write-on before. Not to my recollection. They must have changed it. Let me know. If you, uh, if you, ha if you have another sample uh, handy of the right, of the pedal driver, sorry. Look at the, all the f room down there for the feet. I don't, I don't think that was there before. Look at the steering wheel is different. It's half, the top half. Check that out for me. Uh, post a comment. Would you, would you uh, share with me and other collectors? Thank you. What do we have here? Epic fast, fantastic track car. Hey, oh, it's two colors: purple, silver, purple, silver. So uh, this might have been in the last assortment as well. Sixty-seven Austin minivan. Glad to see this model back. It says Campbell's Garage. Campbell's Garage. I wonder if that's uh, 
FC on the hood. Fraser Campbell. I don't know if he's still... Was that the guy that was with Mattel before? I don't remember. Fraser Campbell. It was a guy, a designer or something. Wow, that's pretty wild colors. You got your pink and orangish yellow, kind of. Probably more yellow. Yeah, it's yellow. I thought it made it look orange when it was next to the pink. A uh, fun model to collect on this one. Uh, I think I've given him a couple track times and has not done well. And yeah, you can post a comment or two for a track time. You can suggest a model or two. And then when I do my track time videos, here's quick and sick. When I do my track time, I usually pick like uh, 16, 18, 20, 32 cars. And then, uh, and then I come back to the suggestions and look for people who pick those cars. And then I give shout outs. On the bottom, Hot Wheels High. That was in the last assortment. Shiny, shiny gold chrome. There's a Velocita or Velocita. One of the other, one of the sports cars. HW Games, Amazon. That looks like volleyball. This one looks like running. I'm not sure. I know people like to, people, if you like to collect series, have fun hunting down your set. There you have Speed Dozer. Pretty good on the track, actually. Here's a new model. I don't think this was in the last assortment. Formula Flashback. If it was, I forgot. But, uh, oh, yes, it was, because I said it looked like, kind of looks like El Rey Special. If you've been a collector for a long time, and back in the 80s, they had a car called El Rey Special. And when I look at it at this angle, it gives me that, uh, that feeling of El Rey Special back in the day. 85 Honda CRX, nothing in the back, nothing in the front, just has stripes on the tops and the sides. Got a Honda, Honda logo right there on the quarter panel, if that would be the quarter panel that high up. Here you have a Tool again, it's another model in the HW Tool in One series. Tool in One, and you see it's got a little wrench, so it works. I mean, it's not something that you'd probably uh, use uh, for industrial purposes. And that's a part right there. I don't remember what that part's for. It shows a wrench. I don't remember if it had other multiple purposes besides this, but that is definitely, that must be for a little uh, nut. Anyways. Nice to see it back in the assortment. Hey, no, uh, I don't see no submarine. It would have been nice for that thing to carry over. I finally found one on the pegs, the Beetle's Yellow Submarine, but does not look like it's in this case. Here's Tour de Fast. I'll come back to that in a moment. Scupa de Fuego gets a recolor. I haven't seen you in uh, maybe a couple of years. Might have been in some five packs, but I don't remember seeing them in the singles. Here you have Tour de Fast. Get it? Tour de Fast. You've got bicycles on there, as if the uh, uh, Tour de France. So that's definitely sports. You've got the uh, racing temples. There's been a couple of Hot Wheels models that have bicycles on them. If you remember the names, post a comment. I know one for sure, but I don't want to give it away. I want to give you a chance, uh, you guys a chance to say. And then if you don't know, read the comments and maybe someone will post it for you. Post up. Tour de fast. Tour de or tour de. Tour de fast. Corvette C7R. Again. Another one. There you have Scorpedo again. Roadster. That was a treasure hunt um, within the last year. Super treasure hunt, as a matter of fact. This one is just a basic car. Regular issue. I'm just talking that he was a roadster. Um, let's go ahead and get three. Bone shaker. Open roof bone shaker in green. Looks good. Got gray wheels. Gray five spoke wheels. I think uh, someone was saying that there was a casting change too. That they've changed it up in the back. Um, or was that Baja bone shaker? Here's another sample of uh, Formula Fast flashback. And so J23. This was produced the 23rd week of mm, 2016. That's the J stands for 2016. J23, I think I said. J23. Oh, there you go. Mad props. We already seen that. So let's get to the Lamborghini Huracan LP 620-2 Super Trofeo. Fail. Trofeo? 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 
Fail something else in Spanish. No fail. Está muy bonito. Or bonita. Night burners. Wow, looking good. This one's not going to be good in the loops. Look at that low front end. He's going to drag. Uh, it doesn't have the little thing to uh, adjust it either. This is just a show car. Look at that wing. Metal wing is part of the body. You have a 63 tempo on top. They also decorated that there. Nothing in the back. 63 on the side. It does have the Italian uh, color stripes right there for the Oracon Super Trofeo. Right in the middle, you can see the Lamborghini temple. Got some headlights too. Looking good. Unfortunately, this one a little smear on the windshield. A little scuffing. But uh, good thing there's two samples. Let's check the other one. That windshield looks a lot better. If you want to suggest it for track time, mm, go ahead. Mm, I might do it. I might not. Oh, here's a 17 Ford GT. Thank you very much. It was a super treasure hunt in the last case. In the end cases, this is P. In the end case, there's no O. This is P. And then there's Q, last case of the year. Looking good. Blade Raider, that's a new model. Not the first appearance. It uh, showed up in a recent case. Not This is not the first case code. So if you missed that, now you get to see it. Nice uh, design. Here you have the Porsche 911 G3 RS. You have the, uh, the spoiler is part of the body. It's a metal part of the body. It's not an attachment, plastic attachment. Plastic inserts for the uh, uh, headlights. It's actually not in, technically an insert. It's part of the window sticking forward. Three samples. We've got the uh, sample on the back. And if it's a GT3 RS, that is what it looks like. GT3 RS, that is what it looks like. It says three samples. Pretty good. Glad to have it in the collection. And hopefully you guys are successful in hunting for that. Last three models. Here we have Futurismo. That's a new model. We'll look at that in a second. Look at those wheels on the custom Ford Bronco. Got some flames. Daredevil series. Looks pretty good. And here is the another new model, Futurismo. Definitely a track car. Can you tell? Track car? Yeah, track stars, track car. And he's part of the HW race team. You can tell because he's got the blue graphics. He's got bubbles. Bubbles, bubbles. Definitely a track car. Low, sleek. You, you can see it's got like a line along the side for the booster to grab. It's going to be good for the boosters, loops, and curves. But when I do track time, I don't know if I'll be doing boosters, loops, and curves. Maybe I'll do kick, kicker loops like I did for my 2016 A case track time. That layout was uh, pretty good. I enjoyed it very much. Anyways, if I, uh, I'll put the... I don't know what the uh, basic are. Anyways, I'll put the name. I'll look it up and I'll put the name for the basic. I don't know if it was in here or not. Well, well, well. Right at the beginning of the case, yeah, this repo duty is a uh, basic treasure hunt. And look, they cleverly made it just part of the decoration. I didn't even catch it. Very nice. Does it have a uh, circle flame logo behind the model? Yeah, it's a little hard to see, but it's there. Because it's a bigger model, it's kind of hard to see that. Uh, there you go. See the circle flame? No, you can't. It's in the shadow. Anyways, that logo is behind the car as well. Happy hunting. Bye-bye.